Let us look at one example of Bayesian Nash equilibrium of Kurner duopoly with incomplete information. So there are two forms. And they face the market demand function P is equal to 10 minus capital Q. Where capital Q is output by form 1 plus output by form 2. <clears throat> Form 1 chooses quantity Q1 and its cost is 0. Form 2 knows about its type. So Form 1 knows that uh, there is a probability that Form 2 can have a low cost. There is a probability that Form 2 can have a high cost. Form 2 knows it. It's a private information for Form 2 that whether it has a low cost or a high cost but form 1 doesn't know so form 2 is the private cost type so form 2 is type L means low cost type In that case, marginal cost is zero. With probability half. Or form two can be of type H that is high cost, high cost type. In that case, MC is 4. With probability half. Firm 2 knows it very well whether it is a high cost or a low cost. But firm 1 knows only the probabilities. Firm 1 only knows that there is a half probability that firm 1, oh, sorry, firm 2 can be low cost. Or there is half probability that form 2 can be high cost. Form 2 knows its type. Form 1 only knows the probabilities. So form 2's strategy, probabilities whether form 2 is a low, a low cost or a high cost form. Form 2's strategy 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 is a pair what form 2 is going to produce when it is a low cost, what form 2 is going to produce when it is a high cost. <laughs> payoffs or payoff of type L. So form 2's utility, if it is a low cost, is 10 minus capital Q. That is, I mean, by utility, you mean the profit. So it is P into Q. And what is Q for form 2? Q2. And this is Q2. L minus 0 because there is no cost. 10 minus Q1 minus Q2L. So there is no Q1L, Q2L because uh, firm 1 is just one type. I mean, there is no distinction between low cost or high cost. 
like this. So you understand this, that's utility means payoff, uh, utility means profits here. So it is price into quantity, right? Revenue minus cost, cost is zero. Payoff, if type H. Here you can write actually, instead of off, it is better to use if. So payoff, if type H is, U2 H is, price into quantity minus cost. No? So what is price? 10 minus capital Q. Q2H minus minus Q1 minus Q2H. Four Q2H. And what is Firm once expected payoff because firm one doesn't know it whether firm one is going to face surely low cost or high cost firm. Firm one only knows that there is a probability half attached to low cost and probability half attached to high cost. Right. So firm one, firm one thinks in its head. There is half probability that I'm going to face low cost. No. So it is, and my profits would be P into Q1 minus zero because my my cost is already zero there is this is low cost this is there is half probability that i'm going to face high cost high cost form two Okay. So what is the rev what is price which firm one is facing this much? Minus zero now you don't have to write. What is the price? Ten minus Q. Don't just add this right now, right? Because it is going to be different. Now, in place of Q2, you will be writing this guy, right? So not, not this guy. This is basically you will be writing Q2L. Right? Because capital Q is what? This single Q or capital Q is what? You can just write this as capital Q. I hope it is. You should not create a confusion. So capital Q is Q1 plus Q2, right? Q2 H. Q. Right. Now, when you will simplify this, you'll be getting this guy. Now it is going to be like this. You understand this? So this I call as profit of firm one or payoff of firm one. 
then you will have to take the best response functions. So for firm one, it is very easy. You just write del u1 by del q1 it is 10 minus 2q1 minus q2 l by 2. Q2 H by 2. Just differentiate this with respect to Q1. For form 2, if it is type L, if it is type L, so you just differentiate this guy with respect to Q2 L. Okay? So once you do that, you will be getting this guy. And this guy, if firm two is high cost type, then this is, you have to differentiate this guy with respect to QH. This will be Q2 L kaho, Q2 H kaho. Okay. This comes out to be six minus, minus two QH. So when you write the best response of form one in terms of Q2H and Q2L, you get this guy. Q2L by four minus Q2H by four. You write the best response of firm two when firm two is low cost type in terms of the output of firm one. This is five minus q one by two. You write the best response of firm two when it is high cost type in terms of output of firm one. It is three minus q one by two. Right. So what I can do, so I have five minus Q2 L, right? So in place of Q2 L, I can write this. It's Q1 by two by four. No, actually beta, this is Q1. This is Q2L. I'm sure you know this, but I'm just writing this out so that there is no confusion. And in place of Q2H, you can write this guy. 3 minus Q1 by 2. Right? So, minus... This... Q1 by 2. This is... Equals to Q1. We have written this equation. We have written this Q1 equals to this equation. And in place of uh, this thing, we have substituted this. In place of Q2H, we have substituted this. That's what we have done, right? Now you just have to find out the value for this thing. So once you do that, you will be getting 3 by 4. Q1 equals to this. So Q1 is equal to 4. So the moment you have Q1 equals to 4, you can find out the value for Q2L which is 5 minus q1 by 2, right? That is 3. And uh, you can find out the value for q2h, which is 5 minus, uh, sorry, 3 minus q1 by 2. Right? So what are the Bayesian Nash equilibrium quantities is Q1. Q2H is 
four three one. You with me, right? So this is the way you solve for the Bayesian Nash equilibrium. This is one example, right? Uh, actually, I hope it was useful to you. Thank you, Vita.